we find that a lot of installers and a lot of end users often get confused by uh, selecting and installing the CT. So today I hope to clarify some of the mystery. The CT is instrumental in measuring electricity. Any meter that gets installed is going to require you to connect directly to the voltage and to the current. Um, you cannot directly read the current, so in order to read the current, you need one of these. This is referred to as a current transformer. The first thing to know is that CTs come in all shapes and sizes. So uh, the size is usually directly proportional to the amount of current that it measures. The bigger the current, the bigger the CT. The window is important, so this little hole there. This current sensor has to wrap around the, the conductor of the current being measured and typically the larger the amount of electricity, the larger the wire. So you need to be cognizant of how big of a window. Some CTs come in what's called a rope configuration. As you can see from this rope configuration, it gives you a much larger window and it's flexible. So when you're working in tight spaces, it's much more easier to work with than say a rigid configuration like this. A lot of times in retrofit, you get into situations where there's a lot of wires in the uh, distribution panel and so you have to route this behind or you have a very tight space. So this has become a very uh, a nice solution in retrofit environments. A solid core CT tends to be more accurate and that's because there is no physical break in the coil that's inside of this transformer. So from that perspective they're more accurate and they're also cheaper because they cost less to manufacture. The downside to a solid core CT is they're not very good for a retrofit. As you can imagine, in order to get this around a wire, you have to disconnect the wire. So, uh, and that could also mean that um, you're going to have to arrange for an outage depending on the electricity and, and what type of load and some of the OSHA arc flash ratings associated with the panel. Not all CTs go with all meters. Some CTs are made where the secondary or the input to the meter is in measured in current. Um, so you might have, so for example, in this particular CT, this is actually rated at 1,000 to 5 amps. But this particular CT actually reads millivolts on the output. So you want to match your CT to your meter we see a lot of instances where an engineer specifies a revenue accurate meter, but then does not specify what type of accuracy on the CTs. And again, in the construction world, if that's not specified, people will buy the cheapest CT, which means spending the money on the revenue accurate meter is going to be wasted if you're buying a less accurate CTs, because that'll be the limiting factor in your measurements. Even within families of current transformers, there are different accuracies. For example, there are CTs that are meant specifically for metering purposes versus, say, protective relaying. And the reason being is a, a metering CT, for example, will be more accurate across the full range of the instrument, meaning it will be accurate at both low uh, current readings as well as mid and high current readings. Uh, a CT that's designed primarily for relaying purposes may not be as accurate at the lower levels because again, typically in protection schemes, what you're protecting against is overcurrent. So they tend to be accurate at the, the higher uh, ampacities or higher loads. The last thing that I would say about current transformers that you want to keep in mind is that um, Current transformers are directional. If you look at most current transformers, there'll be a label on the current transformer and they're going to tell you that a certain side of the CT should point towards the source. That's the source of power. The opposite of the source of power would be the load, which would be the consumer of the power. A good example, let's just assume this were a single conductor providing power to this light. The light itself is the load, the receptacle in the wall is the source, 
the CT clearly states that this side is towards the source. So the proper installation of this would be to put this on there. And this would be a proper installation if we were measuring the current, assuming this was a single conductor type uh, arrangement. We're pointing the CT, this side, towards the source of power, which is the receptacle in the wall, which means the opposite side is towards the load. And if you install them improperly or backwards, then your meter readings are gonna be incorrect. And that's problematic because if your meters, uh, readings are incorrect and your system is already installed and working, that could mean an outage, which could, which could mean downtime and could also mean additional costs on your projects. We'd be happy to help you if you have any questions at all in specifying or installing CTs. Um, again, making sure you get it done right the first time can save you a lot of time and aggravation in your future reporting and M&V efforts.